Hey guys, welcome back to my channel! So today I have my Japan haul for 2019. So kung nakita niyo yung vlog ko, um, nag-Japan kami with my fellow YouTuber friends, Ray, May, Lou, Rai, Hazel, and of course, Ashley. Although si Ash, umuwi siya a day earlier kasi she had another trip to Thailand. Bitin siya sis, mga like 5 days lang kami doon. I wish we stayed longer. Before anything else, make sure na subscribe to this channel ko. And of course, don't forget to click that bell beside for like and notify kapag meron na kong uploads. I guess I'll start with the food items kasi konti lang naman to and I wanted to get the food items out of the way. Bumili ako na tong Ichiran na 5 pack. Kumain kami dun twice and of course, masarap ang Ichiran. Natry ko siya una sa Osaka. Sobrang daming pila. Pero nung nag-Tokyo kami, walang masyadong tao. So, okay naman. Hindi ako nahirapan bumila dun. I got this from Don Quixote. Uh, mas mura siya doon sa Don Quixote. So, five na sets siya. So, for five people, I got two sets. One for me and one for my boyfriend, which pinak ko na kasi. Pero, ayan lang siya. Ang sarap na Ichiran. Sobrang creamy, guys. And pag nag-Japan kayo, um, it's a must try. Sobrang kailangan nyo matry yun kasi ang sarap talaga ng ramen niya. One of the best ramen ever. Ito naman, nakuha ko sa airport. Nasa may duty-free. Nakain na namin to eh. Meron ako nabuksan. I got two of these. And ang sarap nito guys. Pag nag-airport kayo, makikita nyo ito sa food section. Pick it up. It's only mga 250 pesos. Pero it's a strawberry mochi na may cream sa loob. As in, sobrang, it's so, so, so good. Super yummy nito. Yung pasalubong ko sa family ko, hindi ko na na-haul kasi kinuha na nila mga assist. Pero for Dave, I just got him um, a sweater. This is from Champion Medium yung size na kinuha ko. And this is 5,000 yen, which is roughly around 2,500 pesos. Usually, pag yen, divided by 2 mo na lang. Pero it's just a green sweater na ganyan. Sana magustuhan niya. Kasi nagsukat siya sa H&M ng sweater isang beses. Tapos, I just really like the color on him. And di niya binili yun. So, I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna get him a similar one. This time with a champion logo. Pero same color. So, sa airport, meron pa kasi akong pera nun. Like, yung mga yen na hindi ko naubos. Nakakita ko ng tripod for my G7X camera which I'm planning to use pag vlogmas or like sa Korea trip ko. So, sabi ni May, May Layog, bumili na ako nito. Maganda raw yung quality niya. This is the Manfrotto Pixie Mini Tripod for Compact System Cameras. Ayan siya, guys. So, basically, tripod lang siya. Hindi ko siya ma-open. Siguro like 1,000 plus lang. So, okay naman din siya. I wanted to buy a backup of the Joby Gorilla Pod. Yun kasi ginagamit ko with my camera. But, May suggested this one. Ito na lang daw. Mas maganda daw yung quality. Mas hindi daw bulky. Mas, um, hindi daw mabilis masira. So, nahilig ako kay May Layo. Siyempre, si May Layo yan, sis. So, I got this one. Tapos, guys, di ba nag-Tokyo Disneyland kami? Ayan. So, yung una kong binili doon is this headband. Ayan siya, guys. Matchy-matchy kami. Like, kaming anim. Kasi si Ashley ba umuwi na. Pero kaming anim, we got the same headband. The last thing that I got, ginajudge nila ako lahat. Kasi binili ko to. Pero sobrang cute niya. Sabi ko, uy, gamitin ko to pag nag-grocery ako. Or, alam yung pag cute-cute outfit na gusto ko lang ng magpa-cute or whatever. Bumili ako ng ah, shoulder bag, sis. Ang cute nito. Ewan ko kung ano malalagay ko dito. Totoo lang. Hindi ko alam. Pero nagustuhan ko talaga siya kasi nude siya. Actually, wala ako malalagay. Parang coin purse lang kasi it's stuff. As in, konti lang yung space niya. Hindi ko, al ko alam kung bakit ko to binili. Pero... Nakita na ako sa kanya sis. Nung sinukot ko kasi ito, okay talaga siya. As in, it looked really nice. So, I got it. And feeling ko magmamatch siya kapag black lang. Tapos jeans yung sa baba. Ang cute-cute niya. So, binili ko yan. Hindi ko alam kung ano nasa isip ko. Parang, Tony Sia, bakit ko yung ginawa? Pero okay lang. Hindi naman ako nagsisi. So, itong mga susunod na kuha ko sa Harajuku. Meron silang Wego branch. Alam niyo naman, guys, Wego is one of my favorite places to get accessories. Uh, when I went to Japan in 2017, ang dami ko rin nakuha mga cute accessories sa Wego. But this time, of course, nag-iba-iba na yung style ko. Basta, Wego, ayan. Maraming okay na street style doon. Medyo street style siya. Pero I got this set of necklaces. This is 300 pesos lang. Pero it's got three necklaces na. So, this is necklace one. So, may dangly lang siya. Ganda. Um... I mean, I'm pretty sure this is gonna tarnish, pero okay, I mean, I don't mind. And then this one's got the cross, and then this one's got the chain lang. So, pwede mo siyang i-layer for sure, pero pwede mo rin siyang isuot on its own na parang tingi-tingi isa-isa. This one is also 600 yen, so nasa 300 pesos. This is just a cute, 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 cute um, gold ring. Tama ba? Gold ring necklace, ganyan lang siya. Sobrang cute niya, guys. And yung gold niya parang medyo may pagkamat. So, na-appreciate ko yun. Mukha naman siyang high quality. And may weight siya. So, binili ko siya. I got some accessories from the brand 
Paris Kids. Pag nasa Harajuku kayo, meron silang promo na tatlong accessories, 900 yen. So, parang 3, 4, 4, 50 pesos. Parang 150 each. Para sa akin, okay na yun. I got a bunch of cute, quirky earrings. Cookie siya, tapos chocolate dun sa kabila. Sobrang cute. Lahat to 150 pesos each. And then I got this Chinese word that for some reason I can't read. This one just reminded me of my fruit salad squad days. I got a dangling fruit earring. Sobrang cute nun. And oh my gosh, na adik naman ako sa gummy sis. Nung pumunta ko Osaka, bumuli din ako ng gummy earrings na pula from Wego. Pero this time from Paris Kids. Ayan siya, sobrang cute na pink gummy earring. Bumuli ako ng Yakult. Earring napaka cute. Ang bilis ko talaga matuwa. Ganito. Another pair of gummy earrings. Super cute. Last pair that I got, oh my gosh, yung nakita ko to para, oh my gosh. I had to have some bear, teddy bear earrings. Like, hello, teddy bear earrings? Come on. Come on. Ito lang masasabi ko pag nakapunta kayo sa Don Quixote. Marami doon na gamit na hindi nyo kailangan pero napapabili kayo. Hindi ko alam bakit may ganun siyang, may ganun feels ang Don Quixote. Pero napapunta ako doon, ang dami ko nabili. So, unahin ko na to. Ito yung favorite kung pinapang kulay sa buho ko kapag bleached yung hair ko and I want a dark gray effect kung gusto nyo ng ashy, ashy tone. Pero dapat bleach yung hair nyo ha. Fresh light, sugar ash na hair color. So, I bought two. Marami akong ganito guys. As in, ito yung pinaka-favorite color ko. Yung shade na binibigay niya sa hair ko as in super gray, super ashy, super ganda. I got this Bright Up Brush 900 from the brand Raburashi. Ayan. Kami ni Mabe na pabili dito kasi parang 450 pesos lang siya. Yung brush na to, pang mukha lang siya. And it looks so soft! Ang ganda ng quality niya, 450 pesos. I'm so excited to use this as a powder brush, bronzer brush, you guys know it. And napabili ako ng skincare. Dalawa lang naman, guys. Kasi ang dami kong skincare, but uh, when I saw these, I was like, ooh, they look really nice. Tapos inamoy ko siya, tapos I was sold. Ito actually, ibibigay ko sa best friend ko. Gusto ko matry niya kasi ang bango niya, sis. Ito yung brand na Momopori Concentrated Lotion Peach Ceramide and Lactobacillus Blend. Ayan, basta ayan siya. Momopori, ayan. So, barang peach toner siya. Guys, ang bango. Amoy peach talaga siya. So, nung amoy ko siya, sobrang, oh my gosh, ang bango, 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 bango. And then, I got yung gel cream. Amoy natin ito kasi ito walang tester eh. So, hindi ko siya naamoy. Pero, hindi naman siya super pricey. Ang ganda pa ng packaging niya. Oh my gosh! It smells like peaches! I swear, ang bango niya. Grabe. Super bango, super bango, super bango. I got some film cameras. Ito yung Fujifilm na Simple Ace. Ayan siya, guys. Um, 27 na shots sa isang film camera. I discovered this through Rai. Pag naubos mo yung laman nito, 27 shots siya. Ipapadevelop mo siya sa, for example, Fujifilm. And makuha mo yung photo na parang old school talaga siya. So, ayan guys. Pabili akong tatlo. Siguro isa nito nasa mga 600 pesos. Pero okay na rin. Very, very sulit naman. So, I got three. I got eye drops. This is from the brand Roto. Marami na akong mga ganito. Iba-ibang klase. Pero ito naman, sabi sa akin, maganda rin daw. Lysi. Lysi contact. Ayan. Siguro pag may contacts ka. Gumagamit ako ng eye drops. Especially pag mayroon akong contacts. Wala akong grado. Pero I like wearing colored contacts just to boost my look. Pero ayan, this one. Pasalubo ko sa nanay ko tsaka sa sarili ko, bumili ako ng maraming Meiji Amino Collagen. So, one bag para siya sa isang buwan. Uh, masarap daw to guys. As in, masarap na masarap na masarap. So, itry natin siya. Baka sakaling gumanda ang balat ko. Collagen, alam niyo naman, sobrang okay na ingredient yan for the skin in general. Of course, it wouldn't be a Japan haul without um, restocking heroin make mascaras. Although, I have found um, great alternatives here in the Philippines like yung Maybelline. L'Oreal, na gusto, gusto ko rin. This one does such a great job in lengthening my lashes. So, I got two long and curl super waterproof mascaras. Dalawa, para syempre pag naubos. And then, I got the volume and curl super waterproof. I would usually hoard like mga sampu nito, pero swear, they do dry up. So, tatlo-tatlo lang para at least hindi ganun ka sobrang dami. Although, madami pa rin sila sis. DHC na moisture lip cream. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. Para ang ganda ng brand na DHC. So, bumili ako ng kanilang lip cream lang. Lip balm lang to. Hindi ako ma-lip balm na tao, pero I figured kailangan ko. Yung ginagamit ko ngayon is yung Laneige na lip glowy balm. So, kailangan ko nito. Plain na lip balm lang siya. Again, yung brand is DHC. Ito naman guys, sabi ng best friend ko, napakaganda rin tong brand ng eyelash glue na to. And ngayon, yung eyelash glues ko sobrang pangit. As in, ang papangit talaga nila. Ang bilis ko tanggal yung lashes ko. So, uh, ito na lang. I bought some dupe eyelash fixer X. Maganda rin tong brand na to for eyelash uh, glue. So, kung nasa Japan kayo, if you happen to visit 
a drugstore or Don Quixote. Try it because it's super effective raw and the best eyelash glue according to my makeup artist best friend. I got a backup of my K palette, One Day Tattoo. Um, eyebrow tint pen. Ito kasi pag ginamit mo siya, napadala lang ito from K Palette. Pero, pag ginamit mo to, as in, nagtatagal yung tint sa brows mo for like 3-4 days bago siya ma, like, matanggal. So, um, it does save me time from doing my eyebrows because it takes me so much time to do my brows. So, ginagamit ko to to draw in my eyebrows para the next day it still got the tint. I also love using this for my fake freckles. So, the rest of the items that I got are bags. I got a little carried away. I would consider myself pretty lucky kasi medyo madami akong mga finds. I got three vintage bags. I mean, actually four. Pero I got three na medyo medyo mura. Mm -hmm. Dito sa mura. At sa pinakawalang kwentang bag na nakuha ko sa haul na to. Like, di ko alam ba't ko siya binili. But it's so cute. And it's so me that I had to get it. Huwag niyo akong... Huwag niyo akong... Huwag niyo akong... Ayoko na siya. First thing that I got is this cutie pie! I got this for... 4,000 yen, so nasa 2,000 pesos siya. Oh, it's a vintage Prada na coin purse. Pero like, parang siyang ganda may handle siya, so pwede mo siyang gawin bag, o diba? Like, how how clever, how intelligent. So it's got two compartments. Medyo madumi siya, pero since nylon yung material, papalaba mo lang to sis, okay na okay na siya. So 2,000 pesos, I couldn't pass it up. I could use it as a coin purse. So meron siyang front pocket dito. And I love the color pink. Sobrang cute nito, diba? And then, meron din siyang pocket dito. So, pwede mo siya lagyan ng cash. Actually, para siyang wallet. And it's still in good condition. Super nagustuhan ko talaga siya. As in, like, natuwa ako sa kanya ng bongga. Kahit na parang sobrang liit niya. I mean, you can store in your money, your cards, your cash, or whatever, your coins in here. Which makes it, you know, pretty useful actually. Kahit na maliit lang siya. I mean, hello, it's so cute. Ito mura lang din to. Siguro mga 3,000 to 3,500. Mga something like that. Sobrang ganda pa ng condition niya. I can't believe I got it for, you know, this much. Because it's so, 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 so nice. I got this vintage Gucci um, baguette bag. Ayan. But this one, di ko siya keep. I thought about this. Do I keep this? Because it's, I mean, it really, really is nice. I definitely could use it. Do I keep this or do I just gift it to my cousins? And I just decided to give this to my cousins kasi ang dami kong vintage bags. So sabi ko, ibibigay ko na lang ito sa mga pinsan ko. Pero sobrang ganda itong Gucci na to Para pa siyang bago. Hindi ako nabibiro. As in, para siyang bago, guys. Para ang ganda-ganda ng quality niya. Tapos yung loob. Since sobrang pristine condition. Doesn't smell vintage at all. It smells like a brand new bag. Not even gonna lie. And it's so spacious. Sobrang ganda lang niya. Yung only con ko with this bag, the handle is too short for it to be worn like this. I mean, you can, but I feel like it falls off. I think, kung isusot ko siya, like this lang. Ganyan. Diba? Pero napakaganda pa rin. I mean, hello, Gucci for, I don't know, 3,000 pesos. Sobrang sulit na rin to for me. Yung last inexpensive vintage fine ko comes in a dust bag. And you guys know, you got you guys freaking know I'm a Fendi girl. I have so many Fendi bags. I just love Fendi as a brand. I love the I love the design. I love everything. So I when I saw this, I knew I had to get it. Ito lang siya, guys. Came in a dust bag. Love the fact that it came in a dust bag. Kasi parang shocks social, de ba? Kasi usually pag vintage bags, wala namang dust bag eh. Wala namang box unless mahal na vintage bag so Pero this one, I got it for five thousand pesos, mga ganon. Yeah, five thousand pesos. I got this Fendi baguette. I have so many Fendi bags already, but for some reason, I can't stop collecting them. So, ito siya. Ang ganda pa nung hardware niya na gold. Super love. I love it. And the color is so different kasi medyo beigey siya. Meron ako isang Fendi bag dito. Ito yung ginamit ko sa Japan. This is PVC. Medyo brown. Ito naman medyo mag may pagka-beige. May pagka-beige ito. So, napakaganda niya. And it's very low-key. It's such a low-key bag. And again, when you open it, it looks brand new. This one smells like vintage, but, I mean, palabang mo lang to, okay ka na sis. Kasi ang ganda ng tela niya. Like, I mean, ang bilis lang. It comes with the authenticity card. Sa Japan kasi, guys, bawal ang fake um, goods. So, when I bought um, this bag there, I had this sense of relief. Kasi, syempre, authentic siya. This one is so nice. It pairs well with a lot of outfits. Kasi nga, very neutral tong bag na to. And it's just such an easy, everyday bag. And I love it so much. I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of this because I can already see wearing it 
with a lot of my other neutral outfits. So this was such a steal for me. On to my two bigger purchases. Both of these are from Chanel and one is vintage and one I got brand new. Um, of course, I'm going to start with a smaller thing which I got brand new. I think I got this first day namin. Yeah, first day namin binili ko na siya. I got this in the Ginza store. Syempre may paper bag tayo. Kami ni Rai nakabili kami nung first day tapos si Ash humabol siya nakabili din siya. And we got the same thing. Ashley and I got the same thing. So it comes in a box like this. Actually, I wanted this for so long. I've watched reviews, comparisons kung ano yung gusto kong size, kung ano yung gusto kong design. And dito ko na in love. So I really had this set in my mind na bibiling ko siya. So sabi ko, when I go to Japan, I'm gonna definitely buy this. And I, I bought it and I have no regrets to me. One of my best purchases ever. I can't contain my excitement for this one. Kahit na maliit lang siya, for me, ang ganda niya. Okay. Oh my god. But this is it. This is my first Chanel anything. The first thing that I got from Japan is a Chanel classic flap card holder. Bakit ko siya binili? Kasi wala akong wallet na matino. Wala akong wallet na matino. At ayoko ng wallet na masyadong malaki. Because inside, ganda siya. Sobrang perfect itong size na to for me. Meron siyang slot for your cards. So I literally have my cards and I've actually been using this already. Super love ko siya. As in, sobrang perfect ito for me. I can use this every day. Alam mo yun? So, sobrang sulit na sulit yung pera ko dito. Nag-feel ko. So, yun nga. Classic flap card holder in caviar. Um, na gold hardware yung pinili ko. So, pag open mo siyang ganyan, you have a slot for your cash, which is here lang. And medyo malaki naman. Pag ako lumalabas, hindi naman ako nagdadala ng sobrang daming cash. So, perfect itong ano sa akin. Perfect itong laki na ito sa akin. And kung may coins kayo na konti, pwede nyo rin ilagay dito. And then, you know, some other cards and then meron siyang card slot dito sa harap in which i can store like four to five cards no problem ayan walang problema tapos sa likod meron pa siyang slot ayan sorry may may yan pa ako dito sis pero ayan may slot pa siya sa likod kung meron kang card kung meron ka extra things na no, you want to put inside so all in all this is a very compact card holder but to me it is a wallet i consider this a wallet ganito lang talaga ako mag wallet actually hindi ako nag wallet so ngayon na meron na akong wallet I'm super, super thankful. Sana lang hindi siya mawala, sis. I have already gotten so much use out of this one and I've had it for less than a week. So that just says something na it's definitely worth it. This one I got from Amore Tokyo. So kung napanood niyo yung vlog ko, andun siya. Ayan. Amore Vintage. So sa may Omote Sando branch. Marami kasing branches doon. Meron silang branch na gabay na LV, Fendi, um, Gucci, mga ganun. Pero Dior, mga ganun. But meron silang isang branch na solely dedicated to Chanel items. So, nagka-try kami ni Ray, ni Hazel, um, ng mga bags doon. And then, I saw this. Wala sa isip ko na bibili ako ng Chanel bag kasi ang bala ko bumili ng Chanel bag sa December pa. Bala kong bilhin yung um, mini square na classic flap mini square. Yung meron sila sa store is yung silver hardware na lambskin. Eh, nung sinukat ko siya, hindi ako natuwa. I have to be honest. Like, hindi... It didn't call me. Like, walang calling, walang parang, oh, hallelujah! Wala pa ganong moment, sis. So, parang, na-underwhelm ako. Hindi ako, yeah, I just wasn't, like, floored. I wasn't, you know, amazed. I wasn't in love when I saw it. So, nagtingin kami sa Amore Vintage, and I was looking and checking at the bags, and I fell in love with this one that I got, but I was just contemplating because, to me, it's still so much money for a bag, especially the fact that it's vintage. I thought about it for days, Tapos, binalikat namin siya on our second to the last day. And I just knew that I had to get it because I'm really, really happy about it. Every time since ko siya, I'm just really, really happy that I got it. No regrets, no regrets. Kasi, hindi ko na siyang iwan eh. So, I'm talking about the Chanel Classic Flap. Small, um, lambskin leather in gold. Hardware. Again, double flap to guys. So, of course, you open it like this. You twist it. And then, mayroon pa siya isang flap. The condition is actually super great. This bag is from the 1990s. So imagine that. Mas kasing tanda ko na tong bag na to, sis. Kasing tanda ko siya. Ayoko isipin. <laughs> Pero yes, mga ganun. 1990s pa to, guys. And I love the fact na it still retained its poof. Yung poof, yung parang yung cushiony feel. Ang dami ko talaga nakita na Chanel na ganitong ganito. Pero like flat na. And the condition is not as um, pristine. It's not as nice. Ang dami ng mga sira, ang dami ng mga, yun, ang dami ng mga mali, like, ang dami ng mga marks. And then, alam mo talaga, makita mo yung signs of wear. But this one, you could really see and tell that it's well taken care of. 
So I bit the bullet and got it, and now I have no regrets. The only con for this bag, hindi ko siya masuot as a crossbody, pero okay lang kasi I don't really plan to wear this on an everyday basis. It's more of like an events formal kind of bag, and I love the size. And so guys, so I naka shorts yung talaga ako sa ilalim. Sa likod pala meron din siyang isa pang slot. So matchy matchy sila no aking card holder wallet. It's a mother and a daughter combo. It's a forever bag because it's a bag I definitely can wear kahit na may anak na ako. Alam yung kahit na matanda na ako sis, okay pa rin siya. So um yeah, I considered a lot of things before purchasing this bag, but I'm so 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 happy I got it kasi no regrets. So there you have it, guys. That's my Japan haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, next year, we'll come back to Japan. If you haven't yet subscribed, of course, subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what you want to see next on my channel. And I'll be seeing you guys on my next one. Bye!